Now we, if you have a clear hand clap of praise, we'll give him another hand clap of praise, and let's give the apostle with her hand clap of praise. Amen. Now that's a wonderful word, a wonderful teaching. And we got to have these teachings in order to make it into the kingdom. If it's not on your agenda to make it into the kingdom of Abi Yahweh, then you don't need this word. Amen. You know, because, hey, it's easy getting to hell. Just by being completely disobedient to the word, yes. we can make it into hell. Yes. We're not going to help you get into hell. Yes. Come here to tell you exactly what Yeshua Hamas said, what Jesus Christ said at all times. We got to live it. Yes. You know, we try to be an example by living the word. Hallelujah. You know, that's what we have to be for our family friends. You may be seated. Amen. Amen. I thank the Lord for that wonderful word. Amen. Yes. We gotta understand that we gotta go through some of the same trials as you sure how say it went through. Yes, we gotta go through them too. You know. We gotta go through being mistreated. Amen. 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 And being mistreated, he was submissive, we gotta be submissive. Yes, yes sir. Lord you know. help me. Being tormented, you know, we gonna have to be tormented. Amen. Amen. We're gonna have to go through the same sorrows, the same aches, and the same pains that he went through. Amen. So, you know, a lot of times people want to think that, well, uh, uh, I'm saved now, everything's going to be peaches and creams. Mm -hmm. Our trials have just began. Amen. The troubles have just began when we get delivered, when we get saved. Amen. Amen. And I thank the Lord. Amen. We're going to go into the book of Enoch again today. Amen. I know, uh, okay. Yeah, we're going to still go ahead on. You want to, uh, we use a lot of different books now. I know you may think that this is uh, different than the Bible and everything like this, but this is if you get a chance, look up uh, the uh, Apocryphus. These are the missing books of the Bible, or the King James Bible. It's the missing books, amen. Uh, you can look it up online and just say, you know, the original King, just go by the original King James Bible, version of the Bible, you know, and ask, you know, just say on your phone, cell phone, or Safari, and ask, you know, what are the missing books? And it tells you the missing books. Today we're going to be in the book of Hanak again, as we have been studying, and we're going to be in chapter 90. Chapter 90. Okay, it'll be on, I don't know what page is on that book, I think it's page 41. Okay, no problem. Amen. Abi Yahweh, we come before you, most holy of holies. Say thank you, thank you for the word. Thus far it's come. Abi Yahweh, we ask that you continue to lead us and guide us in your truth. Help us also, Abi Yahweh, when we hear your truth, Abi Yahweh, that we'll be doers of thy truth, Abi Yahweh. Oh, Abi Yahweh, we ask you to help us overcome all sin, all iniquities, all evil, all wickedness that is in us, Abi Yahweh. We ask you that you take it out of us, Abi Yahweh that we be totally purged and cleansed, that we might make it to your kingdom, that we'll be pleasing to you. We beg of you, Abbey Yahweh, help us be pleasing to us and to you. Oh, Father, help us, but we need your help each and every moment, each and every second, Abbey Yahweh. We thank you, Abbey Yahweh, for the apostle. We thank you, Abbey Yahweh, for your love, Abbey Yahweh, and we're just going to put our trust and faith in you for all things. In the holy name of Yeshua, I'm going to say it. We do say amen and amen. I give honor to my Lord and Savior, Yeshua HaMasaya, Jesus Christ. I give honor to the apostle, my wife, amen. I'm a blessed man to have such a wonderful woman available to him by my side. I thank him for uh, elect mother, amen. Thank you for the Lord, amen. Thank you, Lord, for uh, having been here in the ministry, amen. And uh, what is your name?
name again? This is Sister Tanika. Uh, Sister Tanika. Amen. Tanika. Amen. Thank you for her being here with us today. Amen. <laughs> Thank you for all the viewers that are will be viewing us later on, the faithful viewers. Amen. I think I'll be our way for them. Now, we was in Enoch 89 last week, amen, and we talked about the sheep, amen, and how the wolves were trying to devour the sheep. Now, we know the sheep are the children of, are the Yahweh, the children of, of God, of the Lord, amen, of Him. And those sheep were being chased by the wolves. Who were the sheep that were being chased by the wolves? Were uh, the children of the, the Israelites were being chased by Pharaoh and his army. And those were the wolves that were coming after the tackling. Amen. And we know that Moses was the shepherd that was leading them and guiding them. What? Into the promised land. Amen. Amen. And so we want to understand that even these days that we're being chased. Amen. The devil is not through chasing us. He wants to attack us. He wants to take us down from the word. Which takes away from his truth. He wants to ensure that we don't make it into the kingdom. Amen. Amen. So he's going to do everything that he possibly can so that we don't make it into the kingdom of Abu Yahweh, that we don't make it into the kingdom of heaven. Amen. So he wants to make sure that we're destroyed. And he'll do that any kind of way. Yes, he will. Because so remember, if any sin has the capability of taking us to hell. Amen. Now you gotta understand the devil does not have any love for any of us. No, he don't. Because he cannot make it into the kingdom. Mm -hmm. He cannot go back into the Shamalans or to the, to the heavens because of his outrageous sin that he committed by rejecting Abu Yahweh, by rejecting the Lord, and by pulling down one third of the messengers with him. So he can't make it back in the north, neither can they. Mm -hmm. you know, the third of the angels, they realized that they had messed up, they, they cried to Enoch and asked him to intercede for him and, and to take the word uh, to uh, Abu Yahweh saying please, you know, forgive us of our sins but Abu Yahweh would not but forgive them of their sins because it was, they rejected a direct commandment. They knew better. Amen. They had spent all that time with him and they knew better. Yes. Yes. They allowed the deceiver to what? to destroy them. Amen. And so we cannot make that same mistake. We don't have time to talk to pay with the devil. You know, we'll be on his grounds. We must go up there and be solid in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. Yes. Trust in him Lord. for all things. If we see that we're in error, we see that we have sin, we got to ask Yeshua HaMashiach to take it out of us. Yes. You know, I don't care what it is. You can say, Lord, you help me, take it out of me, you know, yes. that fault. It no, should have no shame about actually taking sin out of us. I don't care who we are, we still got sin in us. He's still working on us, he's still cleansing us, he's still right. cleansing us. Amen. That's right. But we don't want to stay in that sin. We don't want to stay in iniquity. No, sir. Okay. You know, we don't want to hold on to it. Uh -uh. Because any and all iniquity will take us into that very burning hell. Indeed. Amen. Indeed. That hell fire. You will end up there. Indeed. You know, we cannot be liars. Cannot be thieves. Cannot be hormones. Cannot be a drug, fornicators, homosexuality. I don't care who sit up there preaching. I don't care what title they have. If they're telling you it's all right to commit these sins and iniquities, they're liars. They're thieves. Amen. They are, they are of the devil. They are Satan. But that's what Satan tells you. Amen. Amen. And you know, because. Satan deceived Eve and deceived Adam too. Don't they? Don't, yeah, Adam was deceived. Yes, he was. Amen. Mm -hmm. And everybody like to go up there and put it all on Eve, but Adam did not have to go up there that's and participate right. in sin. Right. Amen. He knew better. He knew what it was. Amen. Amen. A lot of the preachers like to go up there and say, well, especially the male preachers, man, they like to go up there and say, well, it was Eve that was deceived. Adam wasn't deceived, but the devil is alive. Yes, he was. Sin didn't come into the world until after Adam right. participated with him. Hey, that's right. The Amen. Because he's the head. The head. Mm. Amen. He was the head. God talked to him. Amen. 
Now, he might have got punished and everything like that, a little punishment might have came upon her, but she would have gotten punished. But he didn't have to join in in that punishment. That's right, he did. But he did. But he did. That was his choice. Uh huh. He allowed Satan to deceive. That's right. You know. Okay. If my wife goes out there and do something, and I know it's a sin, and I go out there and participate with her, then I'm in agreement with her sin, right. and I'm the one that's sinning also. Amen. Can't yes. get, oh wow, Ooh, she made me sin. Uh -huh. The made devil is a lie. I made that decision. I told her. I made that choice. I'm gonna blame her on that. Can't do it. Huh? I'm gonna blame somebody else for my sin. Can't do it. I'm gonna blame somebody else for my weakness. Can't do it. Because I had the same power. I had the same authority to go up there and ask and request you, sure how I'm saying, that help me in whatever situation it may be, that help me to overcome. That's right. See, if I didn't ask him for help to overcome, then I'm at fault. Amen. I am. Amen. Because he already told us that he's not going to put more on us than we can bear. Hallelujah. He's not going to just leave us hanging. He said, I will never leave you, nor will I forsake you. And that's in all situations, in any situation. We should come, we should come to the weakness of ourselves. There's something that we want to do, something that's already in us that we just truly want to do. Amen. Amen. And so we just try to cover it up, you know, uh, uh, with, our, with our own self, with our own thoughts, with our own being. We cover up, we want to cover up. We want to make excuses that think that it's just something. Repent and get rid of it. That's right, repent and get it right. That's it. Amen. Get it right. Right now. Hallelujah. Amen. Nobody, can nobody make us sin. That's right. Nobody can nobody us make us sin. I don't care if they got a gun pointed right here. That's right. Well, then we had to trust Yeshua how I'm saying. That's what that word faith That's means. Right. Having yeah. trust in Yeshua that he will help us. Amen. That he will deliver us. That he will come to our rescue. Yes, he will. He will save us. But we have to understand that and put our faith and trust in him. Mm -hmm. If we turn our back on him, who fault is that? Selves. Can't Nobody blame you, sure, but why didn't you come to my rescue? And I was there for you. You know, see, but we always want everything to be real easy for us. But it's not always going to be easy. No, sir. Amen. No, no. You know, a lot of times, you know, we have to tell our children, hey, look, this is sin. Yeah, we want our children to love us. We want our children to come to us. We want our children to talk with us and stuff like that. But we have to tell them, hey, this is sin. I'm not going to be a participator in your sin. I don't have participated in your weakness Amen. because you want me to. Amen. In order that, hey, you talk to me. No, hey, no. We've been turned back. We've been denied by our children. Amen. Amen. We go through it. Yes, sir. Amen. I don't care what it is. Say, no, you're not going to do this. You're not going to do that. No, no. Uh-uh. I'm holy. The Amen. ground we walk in are holy. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay, everybody have uh, 90. Enoch 90. He says, And I saw to that in this manner 35 shepherds undertook the pasturing, and by number they completed their periods as did the first. And others received them into their hands to pass them for their periods. Each shepherd in his own period. Each shepherd had to shepherd with the sheep in their own period of time. Do you have it? Are you with us? You don't see 90? Uh, uh, she got 90. It started at uh, 7. It started at verse 7? Yes, sir. In the what, what, in the book? What, it was in the book? In the book. Okay. Well. The, the I said, I know that book is a little, might be a little bit different. We got some more coming in, it's different.
It's okay, man. God, I just miss you. out their eyes and to devour their flesh. And so we know that these birds are different enemies of the sheep, of the, of the saints, and they're coming to destroy them. Why? To stop them from making, make, reaching the kingdom, to reaching the promised land. They didn't want them to do that. And it's the same thing that the devil wants to do now. He wants to stop us from reaching heaven. From reaching the king. So he goes up there and throws all types of diversities before us. He wants us to what? Be destroyed completely. Yes. He'll do anything. He'll throw sexual, he'll throw money, he'll throw uh, any type of thing that he can think of to get us off track of being obedient to the word of God. He'll throw children before us. He'll throw parents before us. Throw sports, whatever he can. He says, and the sheep cried out because their flesh was being devoured by the birds. And as for me, I looked and lamented in my sleep over the shepherds who passed through the sheep. He cried over the shepherds because the shepherds would not lead some of the people into the truth. They were letting them be in the bar. Some of the shepherds were turning what? To like today, to drugs. To immorality. He says, And I saw, and the sheep were devoured by what? The dogs and eagles and hawks, and they left neither flesh nor skin, for nor sickness remaining on them till they till they only their bones stood there. And their bones too fell to the earth, and the sheep became few. What are we saying? A great falling away, what? From the truth. A great falling away from the word of God. People take the Bible, they take the scriptures, and they won't even keep the 66 that are in here now. You know, we look at, uh, if we look at Genesis 1, it talks about the first day. But Sabbath says it's from evening to morning. But people won't go from evening to morning of the first day. They call it what? From midnight to midnight. The times are changing. They don't want the truth. A lot of people don't want the seven day Shabbat or the seven day Sabbath. And this was the day that Yah rested from all his work. He looked over all his creation and saw that everything was good. People go up there now and they say, well, oh, well man was able to have many wives back then, so now we're not, we don't have a problem with girlfriends, they're our wives. But they'd be lying because they'd be their girlfriends, and they go up there and have a sexual relationship because they don't bring them home. 
They don't bring them home. They better not. I know that's right. Better not have one. Amen. Cause God, when marriage was created, He said what? That the two shall become one flesh. He didn't say the three. He didn't say the four. Strange. He didn't say the five. He said strange flesh. He said the two shall become one. And see, every time you go out there and have a sexual relationship with somebody, then you be picking up their spirits. You speak picking up their demonic forces. Hmm. You're picking up everything that they have. Amen. Amen. And then you come home and you bring that to uh, your spot. Mm -hmm. That's how come you said you're not supposed to do these things. That's a sin. It's called if you're married, it's called adultery. Amen. You're not supposed to go outside the marriage. Mm -hmm. That's why Yeshua got mad at them when they just brought, what, they brought Mary before the crowd, but they didn't bring the man. How can you commit, how could she commit adultery, get caught in the act of adultery by herself? Huh? She couldn't could. do it. Couldn't do it. Phase two. Phase two. But you got these people who go up there and say, no, uh-uh, it's just a woman, it's just a woman, it's just a woman. But it doubles a lot. It both of them. It takes the two. Whether male or female or female. Now you got, you got apostles, you got preachers, you got churches saying that homosexuality is all right. Not so. But it double is a lot. Amen. God calls that an abomination for his eyes. It says an abomination for a male to sleep with another male as he does with one. That's an abomination. But you got these people saying, no, it's all right. Oh, they got you got the President of the United States saying now that it's all right. Yeah, okay. But it's a cost. Yes, it is. There's going to be a cost for that sin. There's going to be a cost for that abomination. We said it before, when Obama went up there and first passed the law saying that it was all right yeah. for males and males and females and females to be together. Mm. Now they're going to turn it into a law. Biden, his sidekick, going to turn it into a law. Well, we said back then, when it, when it first came out, that the United States is going to fall. And the whole world is going to fall because the whole world is in agreement with the same sin. In Georgia. Yeah. Why? Because they go up there and they listen to what? The mother of Babel, Babylon. It's a wickedness that's going to be paid it. for. And we're going to see it. And we're going to see it shortly, too. Amen. We're already seeing parts of it now. That comes, we got to get aboard the ark and stay aboard the ark. Yes. Amen. The first ark was what? To protect the people or to protect the ape and the animals from the flood. Yes. Now, this is a different ark. It's going to be a spiritual ark that's yes. being built right now. Yes. It's to protect the people from the fire, for the fires are coming. Yes. Amen. The fires are coming. This whole world. It's going to be destroyed by fire. This whole world. Hallelujah. And then it's going to be cast into what? The lake, the of, lake fire. of fire. Mm -hmm. um, we got to go line by line and precept upon precept in this word. We got to live it. Amen. Hallelujah. We must be doers of it. Amen. Okay. Thank you, Lord. Number uh, seven. Okay, she said five. Okay, yes, number five. You got it. And I saw until the twenty-three had undertaken the pastoring and completed in their number period fifty-eight times. But see, lambs were born by those white sheep. And they began to open their eyes and to see and to cry to the sheep. Therefore they cried to them, but they did not listen to what they said to them, but were exceedingly deaf, and their eyes were what exceedingly blinded. Or oh, they're saying exceedingly deaf, because what? They could not hear the word. They would not undertake the word of God. They would not become subject. They would not obey. The word was being preached, the word was being taught, but they would not take heed to it. They were blinded to the truth. 
Even today, we see that a lot of us are being what? Blinded to the truth. Will not take heed to what the Word of God says. No, uh -uh, I got to do like my friends. I got to do like my family does. No matter what the Word of God says. Can we become blind? This is a time that we need to open up our eyes and see all of Yah's truth. We need to ask Him to come in and help me, Lord. Help me obey all your words. Help me to walk in all your truth. Amen. Give me understanding of thy word. Give me understanding of thy truth. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. He says, Therefore they cried to them, but they did not listen to what they had said. Amen. And but were exceedingly deaf, and their eyes were exceedingly blinded. And I saw in the vision. Now the raven flew upon those lambs, and took one of those lambs, and dashed the sheep in pieces, and devoured them. What sheep did he dash in pieces? Who was he devouring them for? Again, he was sitting up there testing the Israelites, destroying the Israelites. The Israelites almost came to naught. He said, and I saw two horns grew upon these lambs, and the ravens cast down their horns, and I saw till there, till there sprouted a great horn of one of those sheep, and their eyes were open. And it looked at them, and their eyes opened, and they cried to the sheep, and the rams saw it, and all ran to it. And notwithstanding all of this, the eagles and vultures and ravens and hawks still kept tearing the sheep and swooping down upon them and devouring them till the sheep remained silent and the rams in a minute and cried out. And those ravens fought and battled with it and sought to lay low its horn, but they had no power. They were trying to go up there and destroy every sheep, every lamb, everyone that believe on the word. There was a great battle. There was a great fight going on now. What for the very souls of the people? A great battle going on. Being defeated by what? The devil. Because it says there's going to be a time. I guess there's going to come a time when the people of God be crying out. Come on. We'll be crying out. And see, we got to cry out now. We got to cry out. He says, and I saw to the man who wrote down the names of the shepherds and lifted up in the presence of the master of the sheep. Who was writing down the names of the sheep? Huh? Anybody remember the man with the inkhorn? Huh? The man with the inkhorn and him dressed in linen? Ezekiel 9 and 2. He had the inkhorn, he was going by what? He told him. Mike got put a mark on the people's forehead. Put the mark, my mark, on their foreheads. How can you get the mark of Yah? How can you get the mark of God on your forehead? We got by being obedient to the word, by living the word. Now, when the man with the inkhorn comes, you are not going to know that he's there. You're not going to see him. We got, when he sees you, when he approaches you, you already got to be what, doing what he says to do. Come on. If you sit up there lying, if you sit up there horning around, if you sit up there stealing, when the man of the econ comes, guess what? You won't get the mark. And if you don't get the mark, you will not get your name written down in the book of life. Amen. So true. See. Now you know the devil comes by to give people a mark. Mm -hmm. You don't have to take the mark of the uh, beast if you want to eat or if you want to uh, uh, buy or sell. 
and you want to go to hell. Because if you take that mark, if you take the mark of the beast, if you take the mark of the devil, guess where you're going? To that burning hell. So you have to make up your mind, you have to make a choice now, which mark do you want? If you deny the mark of our Yahweh, if you deny the mark of God, if you deny, uh, uh, deny the mark of our Lord and our Savior, you sure how much say it. Guess what? There's no other mark you can get. There is no middle ground. There's no on the fence. You can't just get on the fence, sprint the fence, ride, saddle the fence. You can't do that. You got to be on one, one side or the other. Amen. And if you're not on your sure side, then you're on the Satan side. Mm -hmm. That's it. Now, so we have to go up there and declare that I want my name in the book of life. Amen. When we declare that I want my name in the book of life, that's saying that you sure I want to repent of all my sins. Okay. I want to, uh, I want to repent of all my wicked ways. Mm -hmm. I want you. I need you to come in and you cleanse me and you purge me. I surrender to you. Amen. I, I surrender to you, Lord. Yes, yeah. See. Now, if we don't surrender to the Lord, we can't make it in. Amen. Because He's not taking any disobedience. So true. See, we're going to become gavels or warriors in the army of our Lord and Savior. That's being, being true soldiers. Soldier. He says, and number 15, And I saw to the master of the sheep came to them in wrath, and all who saw him fled, and they all fell from before his face. All the eagles and vultures and ravens and hawks were gathered together, and they came with them, all the sheep of the field, even all came together and helped each other to break the horn of the ram. They want to break the horn of the ram. And I saw the man who wrote the book according to the command of Yahweh, till he opened the book concerning the destruction which those twelve last shepherds had wrought, and showed that they had destroyed much more than their predecessors before the masters of the sheep. See, they were destroying more than they were supposed to destroy. They weren't being subject, they were not being obedient to the word. They were not being obedient to the, our, our Lord and, and, and Savior. Why? Because they were listening again to who? Satan. They were being deceived. He says, and I saw to the master of the sheep came to him and took in his hand the staff of his wrath and smote the earth and the earth broke apart and all the beasts and all the birds of the Shamalan, the Shamalan in heaven, heaven, fell from among the sheep and were swallowed up in the earth and it covered them. What does that sound like? Don't that sound a whole lot like the book Great Earthquake that comes at the end of time? Amen. Huh? A great earthquake. It's going to fall on people. My God. Destruction. Great destruction is getting ready to fall. Amen. The world's getting ready to go into a deep darkness. Mm. You'll hear a lot of crying. You'll hear a lot of people in torment. Mm -hmm. You're going to see the locusts release. The great smoke go up in darkness. And the locusts will be released. It's going to sting men. And they're going to want to die for five months. They're gonna, you're going to want to die. Mm. Now who's it going to who's it going to sting? All those that don't have the mark of Yah. Now you're always going to be able to see the mark. You're going to see the mark. You guess what? We have the mark to be sure 
We have the mark of, of the, our Lord Jesus Christ on our forehead. It's going to be a seal. But if you don't have that mark, you stand a great chance of getting stung. And if you get stung, you're going to want to die for five months and can't die. You may do all sorts of things to yourself. Or people may do things to you. You can drink poison and won't be able to die. All the time. You can be in some automobile uh, accident, all mangled up in pain, broken up, and head hanging off. And you still won't be able to die. Torn to pieces and won't be able to die. Cut up and won't be able to die. And it's not the way that you think that's possible, any painful death that you think is possible, you still won't be able to die for five months. Amen. You don't want to die. Can't die. And can't die. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, Abby. I'll be out with you. He says, And I saw to a great sword was given to the sheep. And the sheep proceeded against all the beasts of the field to slay them. And all the beasts and the birds of the Shamalayan fled before their face. And the sword to come what? To destroy. The word of God is coming to destroy. Amen. Everything that don't want it, you're going to destroy it. Amen. They're going to cut to and fro. You can be a preacher. That's right. It's going to cut you. It's going to cut you every which way. Not living life. Not living the life. Not living reality. We're not just talking about the preachers. We're talking about all of them. Everybody. Every one of us has to live a reality life. Has to be right. holy. Has to do exactly as the Lord says to do. Thank you, Lord. He says, And I saw till a throne was erected in the pleasant land, and the master of the sheep set himself upon it. And the others took the sealed books and opened, their, opened those books before the master of the sheep. All the sealed books. What are those still books? Books that have the names of the saints, or the names of everybody in them, what you've done and what you didn't do. And if your name is not found written in the book of life, guess what? You will not make it into the kingdom. Everybody saying this is the books that are going to be judged by. Everybody saying and wickedness that have not been forgiven, it will be in those books. Amen. It will be. Amen. Thank you. And the master called those men, the seven first white ones, and commanded that they should bring before him, beginning with the first star, which led the way, all the stars whose members were like those of horses, and they brought them all before him. Who are these stars? These the angels, the fallen angels that are getting ready to be what? Judge. The, each one had command over so many thousands or so many hundreds of angels. And they are getting ready, these angels are getting ready to be judged according to the word for the disobedience, for the destruction that they had committed. And he said to the man who wrote before him, being one of those seven white ones, and said to him, Take those seventy shepherds to whom I delivered the sheep, and who, taking them on their own authority, slew more than I commanded them. Going what? Beyond their own authority. Those shepherds. Those leaders. Doing what they wanted to do. That's right. Doing exactly what they wanted to do. And see, they are bound. And I saw, and they all stood before him. And the judgment was held 
over the stars. Mm -hmm. And they were judged and found guilty and went to the place of condemnation. And they were cast into an abyss full of fire and flame and full of pillars of fire. See, that's just the description of hell. Pardon. Oh, yeah. They're going to be thrown into that burning hell. Now, Yah is no respecter of persons. If he judges angels, if he judges angels that betrayed him and said he's going to cast them into that burning fire, what do you think he's going to do for us if we disobey him? The same thing. Huh? The same thing. How do you think that we can escape the judgment from a Elohim that was, does not lie, does not deceive? No respect for person. He's given us an opportunity. He's given us a chance to grasp hold of him, to be cleansed by him, so that we don't have to face this condemnation. And we get this chance when? Now. Well, we have life in us. This is the only time that we have. Hallelujah. But we don't know what tomorrow's going to bring. We can be well one moment and in death the next moment. Hallelujah. Or be in a coma and still can't do anything. We just don't know. I come and look, it behooves us not to play with Yah. Amen. Amen. To get it right. Right now. And keep it. We know what it says in the scriptures in Torah. We know what the word of God says. Amen. Yes, indeed. Why should we be foolish and ignore it? Thank you, Lord. He says, And I saw at that time how, like an abyss, was opened in the midst of the earth, full of fire. And they brought those blinded sheep, and they were all judged and found guilty, and cast into the fiery abyss, and they burned. Now this abyss was to the right, of the house. What? You mean sheep? Mm -hmm. Huh? Were burnt, sent to that burning fire? Amen. That hell fire? Were you destroyed? Huh? One true sheep. Playing with the word of Yah. Amen. Talking about I want to be saved. Shout, running around the house of God. Talking about I'm saved, I'm holy. Up there lying. That's it. Got the preachers sitting up there lying. That's it. Got the preachers acting unholy. Amen. Thinking that, oh, since I have this word, since I have the Torah in me, I have the Torah in my hand, I can just do what I want to do. Not so. Got to live it. Blind. Yes. You can listen to these lying dogs say, hey, well, the word says this. No, it don't mean that. It don't mean this. It, it means this, that you can do this and do that. It means just what Oh, you God is not talking to us. He's talking to them back then. They'll say it. Well, what happened to the part? What says God says he was saying yesterday, today, and forevermore. He changed not. God, I changed not. See, I changed not. What he said yesterday, what he made yesterday, what he called a sin from the beginning, he called it a sin yesterday, and he's going to call it a sin today, and he's going to call it a sin tomorrow. It's not going to change. Amen. Amen. Whatever was wicked then, it's still wicked yeah, now. That's right. It's not going to change. No way. 
Hallelujah. See, everybody wants to be buddy buddy, but if people come into the house of God and to the sanctuary and they want to go up there and say, Well, look, you know, we we want to pay our tithes and our offering, we want to give you money and stuff like that. Yeah. We just don't preach this word. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Better preach hey. it. I wouldn't care nothing about you. We don't care nothing about your tithes and your yet. offerings and you stuff like that. We're going to preach it. Gonna preach it. If you do what you're supposed to do, you're supposed to pay your tithes and your that's offerings. Right. But if you don't, that's you. Then that's you. That's between you and, and who? You and the Lord. Amen. That's right. That's between you and the Lord. We'll have nothing to do with it. Amen. If this church were dependent upon tithes and offerings, we'd still be way back there somewhere. Or closed up. Amen. Amen. Yes. We depended upon Yah. We depended upon Yeshua Amen. Hosea. Amen. To keep the doors open. If He don't keep the doors open, there's nothing that we can do. Amen. He open. He's the one that takes care of the house. This is His house. Yes. We're supposed to be His bride. We're His bride. Amen. As long as we do what He tells us to do, we're His bride. Yes. And as long as we've been obedient, then he is obligated by his own word to take care of us. That's it. Thank you. Hallelujah. If people go, a lot of people go there and say, oh, my ministry is under attack. My ministry is under this and under that. Well, I don't have a ministry to be under attack. Mm -hmm. Come on. We don't have a ministry here that's, uh, uh, that we have that's under attack. Amen. This is Yeshua's ministry. This Amen. is Jesus' ministry. Hallelujah. You're not attacking us. You're attacking Jesus. Hallelujah. You're attacking Yeshua how to say it. That's it now. Amen. You, you curse me all you want to. That's right. Hey, it, it's all right. But as long as we're doing what Yeshua how say it, then it's a, hey, we're all right. Hallelujah. That's what we worry about, please. Amen. Hallelujah. If we don't please him, then we're going to be held by ourselves. That's right. Big trouble. That's right. And I, for one, I, I, hey, hell is not designed for me. Not for me, either. It was not, hell was not designed for us. No, sir. Hell was designed for Satan and his angels. That's yes. It. Not for us. Mm -hmm. Not for man. Not for me. But because of the iniquity and because of the disobedience of man. That's because it. man did not want to go up there and ask for forgiveness. Man did not want to obey Yah. Then hell was opened up to mankind too. Yes. In fact, he told hell to enlarge her mouth because of the great falling away from truth. That yes, 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 yes. So true. Amen. Thank you, Lord. He says, And I saw the sheep burning, and their bones burning. Mm -hmm. you know, I, I, I know this had to happen in a vision and a dream because I know the same thing happened to me. And I know some others that it's happened to even in this house right here, that they saw hell. Amen. 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 And see, the thing is, with hell, and when he saw this vision, and he's not telling it all right here because, you know, he don't tell about the smell. Because you smell it. It's a stench that you would never forget. It's a stench like no I'm not other. It's a terrifying place. Yes, it is. Dread, the feeling of dread just, just comes all over you. Yes, Lord have mercy. I come, I, 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 I cry so much for myself that I have ever told anybody to go to hell. Amen. Amen. Because I don't see nobody in hell. Amen. Come on. I don't care whatever they have ever done to me, I still don't see nobody in hell. Nobody. Amen. Glory. I pray that they what? Be saved. That they get delivered. Hallelujah. Because hell is not a place for man. No, sir. I cried out one time even for the devil to be saved, to be delivered. It was possible for him to be saved, to be delivered. That ain't no need. That's a waste of cry. Come That's on. a waste of cry, but I'm just saying. I know. That's a terrible place. Yes, it is. The devil don't want to be there. And the angels, his angels do not want to be there. Curse with a curse now. Oh, 
thank you, Abigail. And it says 28, and I saw, excuse me, and I stood up to see till they folded up the old house and carried off all the pillars mm -hmm. and all the beams and ornaments of the house and that there were at the same time folded up with it and they carried it off and laid it in a place in the south of the land. And I saw to the masters of the sheep brought a new house, greater and higher than the first, and put it up in the place of the first which had been folded up. And all the pillars were new, and its ornaments were new, and larger than those of the first. And the old one which he had taken away, and all the sheep were within it. Talk about the tabernacle. Amen. Remember everything in the heavens. The, the tabernacle that was first built, amen, was in assembly or, or represented the tabernacle that was in heaven. The things that Moses built and the things that he had made. It was according to the description of the, the, the one that was in heaven. Now remember, the old heavens are going to be what destroyed. A new heaven and a new earth is coming. And so it's on that now the greater things in this new tabernacle are going to be built, are going to be made. Better things, a new thing. Amen. It's coming. Yes, it is. He says, And I saw all the sheep which had been left, and all the beasts on the earth, and all the birds of the shambling of the heavens falling down and doing obeisance to those sheep and making petition to and obey them in what? Every in every day. manner. They were bowing down. And they were praying. They were asking for forgiveness. See. Why? Because they're being judged. Remember this time it said, even uh Shua Paul goes ahead and tell them, Don't you know that even as saints, as children of God, that you also will have to judge the angels, mm. other people, other sheep. He said, Don't you know this? How is it? It's in the Corinthians. How is it that you cannot judge a matter in the houses of God? Amen. How is it that you bring your problems before those that are not saved, that are those that are not your brothers and your sisters? Can't do it. Huh? Can't do it. Right? See, all matters are supposed to be settled here in the houses of God. Right. right. In, in the different people. You know, you're not going to say we're not going to have no problems. But you're not supposed to bring accusation against one saint to another saint. Mm -hmm. Amen. No Probably have a problem, bring before and, 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 and the, the elders and the shepherds are supposed to go up there and, and they to come to a decision on what's right by through prayer. Amen. Through the being obedience to the word of yes, God. Yes, yes. Amen. See, the church is really supposed to be set up. The reason that it was written that way is that they had their churches set up in a different way than what we have our churches set up now. That's right. See, the churches of then were set up as a community. Community. You know, like what it tells us in the book of Acts, what they had sold everything, and they all had equal amounts of everything. Nobody was lacking anything. They, they, they had all their houses together, and they came up there and they shared what a meal. They shared the common meals. They shared all the food together. Didn't nobody, they didn't want nobody eating steak and, and, and nobody else wasn't eating steak. Unless they just didn't want no steak. Everybody had chicken with everybody. You know, you ate what you like. But it was all one common meal. And they ate it together. They shared it together. That's the way the church was supposed to be. So when they had a problem, in that community, when they had a problem in that church, 
Then they brought it before the elders. They brought it before the people. And then the people would judge on that. But now, you got these different buildings. You got this church here, that church there, and you know, and you don't judge one another. We don't judge one another. You go before the courts. And you ask the courts to settle the differences. Amen. And of course, they settle the differences not according to what is righteous most of the time, but they sell a different drug. Who got the most money? That's it. Wicked. Amen. See, we got to understand that in the last days, when the time comes in the new kingdom, there'll be communities. There won't be this church, that church. But you have communities. Mm -hmm. yeah. There's some communities being set up now. Amen. They're being set up now. I had the vision of the community over 20, 30 years ago. And they're being set up. Where, hey, everything's taken care of. Hey, you know, think about it. You don't have to worry about rent or your house payment, your lights. You don't have to worry about your lights, heating. You don't have to worry about your food, how you're going to eat. You don't have nothing to worry about. But it takes a react people, a holy people, that are truly, we are truly holy. Amen. To work together. To work what? Together. together. For the common cause. For building the community. For safeguarding the community. That's right. People that have what? A love one for another. You can't, you can't. You cannot trust the thief, so you can't have thieves in the community. Amen. That's right. Amen. You can't trust the horse. You can't have horse in the community. Amen. No, sir. You can't have these type of things. Laziness either. You can't have softness, laziness in the community. Amen. Can't have none of these things. And we don't want to call my God. Community is based on one accord, on the word. Everybody's got to be delivered the same way. Everybody's got to be walking the same way and the same light, believing the same thing. The word. And Yeshua Hama said, must be the head of the community. Amen. Must be. Don't have no room for the devil. Don't have no room for the demons. Amen. The people got to have power. got to have power. The, the scriptures tell us if one gets sick, what is it supposed to do? Tell them call. Just call on the elders. Mm -hmm. huh? Let the elders anoint him with the oil. And pray for And, pray for. Right. and it didn't say, he might be healed, did it? They shall be healed. What's that word shall mean? It may not be. It's going to be. It's going to happen. Yeah. It's not. It's not a maybe. It's not a question. It's yeah, not a man. doubt. It's going to be. It's going to happen. It's, it's going to be. But see, we get far away from what Scripture tells us and that's the Scripture it. teaches us. Amen. And that's why there's such a great falling away. Yes, it is. From the Word of God, from truth. Oh yeah. So we don't want to get into this word. We don't want to study the word. See, we got to study this word. We have to get it together, you know. Thank you, Abi Yahweh. He says, I'm going to read 30 over again. And I saw all the sheep which had been left, and all the beasts of the earth, and all the birds of the Shamalayan falling down and doing obedience to those sheep and making petition to and obeying them in what? Yeah. Every matter. In every matter that Yah has said, we got to be what? Obedience to it. Amen. See, sometimes we think, well, I, I'm just not doing this part right here, and we think that we're all right. No, he says all of it. In other words, that's what he means by eating the whole road. Amen. See, that is everything that's in Torah. We got to obey it. Obey it. We got to obey everything. Hallelujah. He says, and after this, those three 
who were clothed in white, and had seized me by my hand, who had taken me up before, and the hand of the man also seizing hold of me. They took me up and put me down in the midst of the sheep before the judgment took place. The judgment is going to take place. Amen. The judgment is coming. And now we have to decide while we have breath in us, while the blood is still being pumped through our body, on what side of judgment do we want to be? Amen. Amen. Uh, and it cannot be with what lip service. Hallelujah. Lip service does not mean anything. anything. It means right. we have to go by what action. action. What is our action dictating the that we life. want it to be? Where we want to be? The light. The light. The light that we live. That's it. Do we live or react life? Are we attempting to obey all of the word of Yah? Yeah. We got to be obedient. We cannot be a willful sinner. Amen. You know, walk this willfully, sinner. Mm -hmm. Can't do that. No, sir. With that that we know that is right, that is what we must do. Amen. And when we find out that we walk in sin, then we got to repent of that sin and not do that again and ask him, Yeshua, how much said, to help us to live a real life. Hallelujah. Help us to be holy. Help us to be righteous. We got to ask him. And he will come in and he will help us. Yes, he will. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. And the sheep were all white, and their wool was abundant and clean. What are you saying? These sheep had what repented of their sin, repented of their wickedness. They were all what clean, had no sin. Amen. So we got to come before our Lord and our Savior without spot, without wrinkle, and without blemish. See, we gotta we gotta strive to make the mark. Yes. We gotta run this race what to the fullest. Yes. We can't we don't have the opportunity to make excuses for what we're not gonna do. Mm -hmm. And why we can't do it. How come I can't be holy because such and such slept? I can't be holy because my children don't want to be sick. I can't want to be holy because my mama and my daddy don't want to be sick. I can't be holy because my wife don't want to be sick. I can't be holy because my husband don't want to be sick. Oh, oh, my job. No excuse. I used to hear preachers tell, well, and they're supposed to be Sabbath day preachers, and they would go out there and tell people, well, Oh well, y'all understands that you not uh, that you got to work and that you can go ahead on and break the Shabbat. Yeah. I said that was a lie. That's what they're talking about. That 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 that's a lie. Because mm -hmm. if we are keeping God's command, He gives us a command. He expects us to keep. And, and He expects us to have our trust and our in faith him. in Him that He was able and He is capable of taking care of all of our needs. Yes, He is. I tell people all the time that hey. I didn't care. I told people from the get-go, I said, hey, look, I don't mind working. I'll work on Sunday, but I'm not working on the Sabbath day. I said, I'll work, I'll work, I'll work extra, you know, whatever, to make it up, make up the time, but I'm not working on the Sabbath day. Amen. See, we have to make a stand on the word of Yah. I heard women talking about, oh, well, you know, I have to work pants because my job it says I have to have wear pants and stuff like that. And I said that that's a lie. That's not the job for you then. If, it's job, if the job dictates that you got to break the law of Yah, you got to break the, the law of Jesus, then that's not the job for you. I I told them Amen. Because the scriptures tell us that a woman should not wear those things that pertain to a man. That's the word. All Nor right. should a man wear that and wear those things that pertain to a woman. Amen. So right. you see all these actors, and you see all these actors, uh, male actors, putting on dresses and stuff like that. That's and that, that's an abomination to God. Well, my, but the role called for it. Uh, if that I, I wear a dress and I put it on the wig, well, don't play it. I wouldn't play it. Don't do it. Amen. I Amen. I, I, hey, don't 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 feel bad. Hey, I just like uh, uh, Tyler, Tyler Perry too. You know, I thought it was funny. Okay. We but then when I found out this, I was like, "Y'all says you can't watch nothing like that." That's right. Amen. Yes, upholding. See, that's what I'm talking about. See, sometimes we walk in sin, 
and without realizing that we're walking in sin. Mm -hmm. That's right. Amen. And so Yah, he, he has a, a forgiveness for us, you know. And now if I had it, he told me, he said, well, you can't do that. And I said, well, it's all right. Mm -hmm. Then I, I could have got deeply punished for that sin. That's right. When we know better, we do better. Because he already told me, he said, you can't do that. Mm -hmm. And then it takes you back to the Word, and the Word backs up what it said. That's right. He didn't give us excuses why I could stay in sin. That's right. He gave us excuses. He gave Come us, uh, he gave us definite words, definite truths of why to come out of sin. Away out. See. Uh -huh. He didn't say he's going to save us in our sin, from. but from our sin. Yes, yes. You know, we have a wonderful and merciful Lord that wants to save us and deliver us, but we have to have an ear to hear and a heart to want to go up there and obey and to Hallelujah. listen. Because he gives us the opportunity to be delivered, to be saved. Hallelujah. He does not want to see any of us destroyed. Amen. He does not want to see any of us in that burning hell. He does not want to see our flesh burning. He does not want to see our bones burning. He does not want to see us or hear us crying out in agony and torment. No, sir. He does not want to do that. No, we don't. And so, therefore, he gives us this opportunity. Yes, sir. He gives us his word and shows us the errors of our ways Wait. so that we don't have to be yes. tormented. Hallelujah. That's the word. But we have to take heed to it and not have excuses because the excuse is not going to work. Mm -mm. He told, tells us in Torah that I will not have pity on you. Amen. That's the word. He's not going to have pity on us. He's not for being disobedient. Mm -mm. For walking in sin. He said, I'm not going to have any pity on you. And what he said, and he mean it. And so you better understand yeah, who we are. that we better take it in our heart, we better get it in our mind that I got to live, react, I got to live holy, I got to be obedient yes. to every word that comes out of the mouth of Yah. Hallelujah. We better understand that I, hey, I got to cry out, I need your help. Hallelujah. Everybody yes, wanna go up there and think that hey, I'm off it. <coughs> Everybody wanna go up there and think that I'm all of this and I'm all of that. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm so holy, I'm so righteous, I'm so more clean that and more good. Mm. We're not there. That's right. So more clean and more good. Mm. I don't care how endowed we are with the word of God. That's right. Still more clean. We still more need more clean. That's why I say it all the time. Still need more purge. Hallelujah. Still more repentance. Mm -hmm. More learning. Yes. Come on. Amen. More learning. More learning. Higher heights and deeper depth. Yes. Hallelujah. Still need more. Oh. We're still so far away. So far. So far away from truth. Amen. So far away from the Still ain't done with Still don't even want to do our reasonable mm -hmm. service to the Lord. Ain't done all of it. Just our reasonable service. And the things that we do, even walking in all our righteousness, walking in all purity, walking in all holiness, yeah, we're yeah. still not doing enough for you. Oh, so short. Still falling short. Doing the best that we can, still falling short. So sure. Well, I put it back. But you may think that you are all right. I'm, I'm, I'm going to say Norman is falling short. I, I fall that. short. Doing all that I can, I'm still falling short. So true. So true. I look in this mirror and I see how short that I fall. I look in the Torah and I say, I'm still falling short. So we're not for the mercy and grace. Are you sure how much say I've been in burning hell? I'm telling you, man. Nobody but him. And, we, and so therefore I know I have no room. I have no room whatsoever of going in error, deliberately, right. of disobeying, or disobeying the word of God. I don't have no room. I have no room. No space. Uh -uh. Sure don't. 
Torah itself tells me that I'm just hanging on by a thread. Yeah. That I'm barely making it in in righteousness. Just barely. Yeah. It tells me that even in all of my righteousness, I'm still nothing but a filthy rag. I'm filthy rag. So how do I get it into my crazy head that, hey, I'm all right? I can't think like that. Oh, I'm okay. Can't get comfortable. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. huh? Still fall so short. Come How do I get into my head like that? The devil. Show sure ain't your shoe. Mm -hmm. Oh, you preach today, Norman. Right. You all right? Mm -hmm. The Still devil is all right. So short. So short. So short. The devil is alive. You need to preach. You know how God put in your mind. Yeah, I'm trying right. to tell you. Come on here. Yeah, yeah, you right. know you know what you say. Amen. It's God. Nobody will die. That's on my peace. That's on my peace. I'm Hallelujah. just a vessel that's here and open up my mouth. And whatever words you want to put in my mouth, that's what's that's coming out. That's what I out. say. Yes. Don't kill me like it. That's right. Hallelujah. See? And then your people have the audacity to go up there and say, that the words of y'all cannot come out of the mouth of a woman having lack of understanding. But they think it's them that's speaking. They think it's them that's preaching. Yeah. That's preaching. It says in the spirit there's neither male nor female. female. That's the word. That's the word. That's the word. That's the word. See? Don't let the devil go up and tell you that you don't have a word in you because you're a woman, that you can't preach because you're a woman. That's the devil's doing, trying to hinder you up, Amen. trying to dry you I, up, you up. Yeah. trying to tie you down because you're scared, scared that if you open up your mouth and you speak the words that God puts in there, that somebody might get delivered, somebody might get saved. He's scared of you. The word of God said, oh, we're going to come to pass. God. A woman must pass a woman. A Amen. woman must pass a man. Amen. Because a lot of males don't want to what? Uh -uh. They don't want to take heed to the word. They don't want to come to church. They don't want to live up. So we're supposed to bring what? Our families to the house of God. Our children to the house of God. Don't do that. Don't do that. Someone like I go sit up there and ask your children, do you want to come to church today? No, we didn't ask our children if you want to come to church. Ask, man. No. I we had that man. grand time. No, you come to church. I ain't never asked Nathan. You, know, you come to church. You don't get, you don't get no church. You, you, if, you, if you live in our house, if you stand in our house, you come to church. So no, how old you are? You be 80 years old, you live in the house, you come to church. You could be mother, you stand there, you come to church. You come to church. You got to say. That's the truth. Be in a wheelchair with a wheelie. You come to church. You come to church. Amen. Amen. I don't care. No, sir. You stand on the land, you have to go to church. You better ask my son along his wife. Come. <laughs> they had to go. Get up. Anything that y'all bless us with. <laughs> uh uh. You got it. Hey, you coming. Yes, sir. You, you coming. Hey, ain't, ain't no. Uh, uh, do you feel like coming to church? Uh -huh. Double is like you coming. Now, if you, don't, if you don't want to come to church, you better find yourself a place to live or a place to stay. And that day. At that time. Just pack up your stuff and get on out. That's right. That's right. Amen. 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 You gone? Well, I don't have no place to stay. That's your problem. Your problem. That ain't my problem. Sure do. We get, we get children sometimes to get in trouble say, hey, you can stay here, but you know you got to come to church, you got to dress a certain way, and you ain't no smoking or drinking on the property. Say, forget it. That's how I see you. Yeah, you're going to be here at a certain time unless you're working. That's right. They don't want to, uh-uh. If you don't want to pay that, then you ain't. Sorry. You don't have to worry about them coming because they ain't coming. They ain't coming. That's huh. what I can say. You got, you got, you got. You got laws, you got rules uh, that that have to be obeyed. People don't want to bother with you. They ain't gonna bother with you. Uh -uh. And you can't say, if we don't love you, yeah, but hey, we don't want to see you cold, we don't bother you, hey. You're not, you're not gonna make me burn up because you don't want to obey the word of God. No, sir. Can't 
Okay, who you are? If man don't want to be saved, pray to God, save him, or take him out of there. Think, think about life. Think about life for a second. When the angels came down, they said they're going to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. And he told Lot, go up there and tell your, your sons and your daughters, you know, uh, what we get ready to do. Have them come, come to this place, you know, where we can deliver them out of it. Well, Lot's other sons and daughters, and his daughters, they didn't want to believe that Yah was getting ready to destroy the place. And they ended up staying there. It wasn't just, uh, Lot had just those two daughters. No. And the wife, he had other sons and daughters. Yes, he did. That's the word. Look at it. Read, 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 read it for yourself. It's in the word. I'm Now, Lot could have said, no, uh, 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 hey, uh, I love my family more than, hey, and, 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 and he could say that he would get destroyed. He would have got destroyed. Because he would have been what? A participator yes. with their iniquities. Disobedient. Being disobedient to the word. If you take the word like all you want to and say God don't mean all of this and don't mean all of that, and just that's a little bitty thing. He mean what he says. Listen to the devil. Listen to Satan, and you end up in that burning hell. Amen. Yah did not say by some of the words that come out of my mouth, man shall live. He said every word proceeded out of my mouth. Every word. Yes, man shall not live by bread, but by every. You play with Yah. Go ahead on. Uh -uh. Can't play with. It. But this is my son, this is my daughter. Okay, yeah. Hey. My soul is important. Yeah. I ain't going to hell for son, daughter, yeah. wife, yeah. nobody. Yeah. The word is what it is. It is, indeed. The word is what it is. It's, it's the truth. I'm sorry, but I it, is, it is life. Yes, it is. If we obey it. Amen. It's life if we obey. Yes, eternal life too. Hallelujah. See, in the morning when I get up and I'm praying the Lord, cause I go get a snack. When I when I get up, I get my little snack and and I pray over my food and I'm getting ready to study the Word. But more important than that snack is the Word. Yes, sir. It's Amen. the Word. And if I ask the Lord, I ask you. I say, God. Yeah. I thank you for all this food, but I especially thank you for this food, this rope. Hallelujah. It's spiritual food, but we need the most. Because spiritual food is life. Yes, it is. That's eternal life. Yes. The natural food, while, we, while our body you know, needs it and stuff like that, but if I die of starvation, hey, I can still make it to the kingdom. If, I, if, if I'm living, if I've been obedient, I have the style of the natural food, and I've been obedient to the spiritual food, I can still make it to the kingdom. Glory, glory. But if I style my inner man, if I style the soul, if I style myself for the word of Yah, then I can't make it to the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. Can you be obedient? Come on, I have to eat the whole roll. Yes. Glory. We all have to eat the whole roll. Glory. If you want to make it in to the kingdom of God. Thank you. 33. And all that had been destroyed and dispersed, and all the beasts of the field, and all the birds of the shaman land assembled in the house, and the master of the sheep rejoiced with great joy because they were all good and had returned to the house. See, they had all been cleansed, those that were clean, and they returned to the house of prayer.
They had love for Yah. Yah yeah, had great love for him to great joy. And I saw till they had laid down the sword, which had been given to the sheep, and they brought it back into the house. And it was sealed before the presence of the master. And all the sheep were invited into the house, but it did not hold them, so many of them. And the eyes of them all were open, and they saw the good. And there was not one among them that did not see. All eyes were open, and no longer blind. It was open, with the eyes were open to what? The truth. The truth of the Lord. And he says, And I saw that the house was large and broad and very full. And I saw that a white bull was born with large horns. And all the beasts of the field and all the birds of the Shamlin feared him and made petition to him all the time. And I saw till all their generations were transformed and they all became white bulls. And the first among them became a lamb and that lamb became a great animal and had great black horns on his head. And the master of the sheep rejoiced over it and over all the oxen, which were the words of God, the truth, the life, the leader, led them in all truth. And I slept in their midst, and I woke and saw all matters. This is a vision which I saw while I slept. And I woke, and Barak, Yahweh of hope, Barak is blessing, I bless Yah. Yahweh is, is Lord Almighty God of righteousness, and gave him esteem. Then I wept with a great weeping, and my tears did not cease till I could no longer endure. When I saw they flowed on account of what I'd seen, for all matters shall come and be fulfilled, and all the deeds of men in their order were shown to me. On that night, I remembered the first vision, and because of it, I wept was troubled. and was troubled. I wept and was troubled because I had seen that vision. He cried because of the vision that he seen. Amen. Uh, it's just like Yeshua how said, he cried, he wept. Yes. He said, and Jesus wept. Why did he weep? Because he knew all the evil and the weakness that would be committed by man. Amen. And that they would not obey Torah, would not obey the word. That they would turn their back on him. That many would be slain, many would be going to hell. Why? Because they don't want to accept Torah. They want to do things their way. Because they allow the adversaries, Satan, to go head on and to what? Deceive them. Thinking that they was all right, that y'all was not going to do anything. Now I, for one, don't want to cause a tear to come out of the eyes of y'all. Not no more. Mm -hmm. right, that's why I want to strive to do everything that I can yes. to be a pleasing vessel in his eyesight. When I want, when any time, I don't care whatever time, night, day, whatever, morning, whatever, whenever that y'all, when you sure how much said, looks down upon me, I want to be able to say, well done, my true and faithful servant. Yes. I don't want him crying and weeping because I'm in some sin or I'm doing some type of sin or I'm doing some type of wickedness. Amen. Or I'm being some, uh, somehow disobedient to him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to be a pleasing blessing. Yes, sir. Yes, got to be. I want, I want him to be happy. I want him to be joyous. I want, I want a smile to be on his face when he looks down upon me. Yes, hallelujah. I want him to frown me down. Lord. Sad and mad because he made me. Amen. I don't want that. I don't want that. I don't want him being sorrowful. Hallelujah. Oh, I'm walking in sin. God, I'm walking in with you. 
And he gave me an opportunity because he had stretched out his hand to me. Even though I was gang saying, even though I was rebellious, he still stretched out his hand to me and said, come on up. I will say that I will deliver you if you just take hold of my hand. Glory, glory, glory. Now I want to grab hold of his hand and I said, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Yeshua. Because you reach way down to save a filthy, low down, stinking, wretch like myself. Oh, my And you pulled me out. Hallelujah. Had mercy upon me. I don't want to see him crying because of my sin. No, sir. I don't want to see him crying because I'm going off the hill. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. See, we serve a wonderful, wonderful Lord. Yes, we do. Hallelujah. And he's made provisions for us. Oh, yes, he did. He's making it to his kingdom. Yes. And we might say, well, I can't obey all this word. I can't do all of that. Yes, we can with his help. Yes. With his help. Yes. Amen. Amen. Lord. I know that we said a lot of things today that would help us make it into the kingdom. Oh. If we would just go up there and obey his word and his truth. Yes. We will live we are before him. Become a holy people. Hallelujah. So I thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank Amen. Amen. So, with that, I'm going to close on off. I thank you, sure, for everybody being here. I thank you, sure, for the Sabbath today. Praise Him. And we'd like to take time to invite people out to the Shabbat. We have service here every Friday evening at 6 p.m. at the beginning of the Sabbath day. And every Saturday morning beginning at 11 a.m. the Sabbath day. And we invite you to attend service with us. We're here located at 4935 U.S. Highway 84, Frisco City, Alabama, 36445. If you care to write it, if you want to send in an offering, or you want to send in a donation, or you, you just want to talk to us, or write us for any particular reason whatsoever, you may write us at Pure Gospel of Jesus Christ Messiah Community, P.O. Box 824, Monroeville, Alabama, 36461. That's our post office, none And remember, if you're making uh, out money orders or checks, don't send cash. If you're making out money orders or checks, then make them out to Pure Gospel Jesus Christ makes the other community. Or just make them out to Pure Gospel Jesus Christ okay, makes the other community. And do it that way. If you put our name on it and send it for us, then we think that it's for us. But if you want to pay your tithes or offering, and you don't pay us tithes, and you got a church to pay your tithes to. Pay your tithes to your church. That's right. If you want to send us an offer, you send us an offer. Or if you pay your tithe to the church or synagogue that you're going to. That's right. That you attend. To, to your pastor. To your pastor. Say amen. Amen. I'm not trying to take up with anybody's offer, I mean, uh, tithes offer, but you got to send them to the right place. Amen. If you have a church you belong to, that's where you send your tithes and your offering to. Mm -hmm. Amen. And do it the right way. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes. Now, if you care to email us, if you want to email us, you may email us. You may email uh, Pastor Apostle Carrie Gosen, Carrie May Gosen. Her email address is jesuswoman at frontier.com. Again, that's jesuswoman at frontier.com. If you care to email myself, I am Chief Apostle Norman Gosen. My email address is jesusman at frontiernet.net. Again, that's jesusman at frontiernet.net. Now, we ask you to have Bible studies. We encourage you to have Bible studies in your own home. Please do such. Take the time 
and then somebody leads leads the family in Bible study. Get everybody off the phones, out of the TV, that's in your home, and have a Bible study. Study the Word. Study the Word from Brisha, which is Genesis, to Revelation, all the way through. Please do. It's important. And when you attend your services or you go to your churches, then you'll have some idea of what the preacher's talking about. When you go to your church, bring the Bible with you. Okay, bring the Bible with you. Study. And if you, and if you have uh, any questions, you should be able to ask, uh, ask your questions. And I'm sorry I forgot to say that today. Normally I do tell people, if you have any questions, just raise your hand and ask your questions. Even if we were talking, uh, ask, ask the questions. Please do. Amen. So have have prayer. Amen. Uh, have Bible study at your home. Amen. I thank the Lord. Amen. And also, we would like to uh, say join us in prayer service. In prayer service. Yes. We have prayer every evening at six and nine p.m. Those are some designated times that Yeshua HaMashiach had given us to bombard him with, with prayer. Pray, okay, if you pray for five minutes, but pray. There's so much to pray for in this world. So pray and bombard, cry out to him in those hours. Again, that's 6 and 9 p.m. We pray throughout the day, but we just have time that we're inviting you to join us in prayer. We're going to have a worldwide bombardment of prayers going up to Yeshua HaMashiach at the same time that he would hear and that he would answer. Look in your neighborhoods, look in your homes, look and see what's going on out here and cry out against the evil and the wickedness that we call us. Also, we invite you to, we have the discount, uh, PGJCM discount casket store and the PGJCM Green Burial. Now, with the PGJCM discount casket store, you can get a casket at a discount price. But you need to know your rights before you go to the funeral homes and stuff. And they tell you, you know, they give you a package deal. Now, every funeral home, by law, if you, they're supposed to give you a, a price list of, of the services and costs. Okay? And when they give you this price list, they got to stick to it. There is a price list that they do an embalming. There's a price for the embalming service. There's also a price for the caskets or, or whatever service that they offer. There's a price. And when they give you, tell you, they give you a package deal, and they say, well, hey, you're getting a great deal. Well, you, a lot of the services you don't need. And so you end up spending thousands and thousands of dollars that you don't have to spend that you can utilize that money elsewhere. Don't let them play the guilt trip on you that, hey, well, you know, the better cash you get, the better mama and daddy gonna feel about you showing the people how much you love them. The time to show your love for people is when they are why they're alive. Cause when they did, they're not gonna know. Amen. And no cash gonna prove. So we have this kind of crap caskets. And what the funeral director goes up there, tells you, well, okay then, this is the price of the embalming. You pay the price of the embalming, and you pay the price of your cash, and that's all you need to do. If you get a cash from us at a discount price, it's still supposed to be the embalming for you, and what other service without trying to add extra for, because uh, you got a cash from elsewhere. That's unfair practice. And you can take them to the law, you can take them to court about that if they try that on you. Amen. See, that's how come we had sent out the videos before. Know your rights. Mm -hmm. Know your rights. Don't be so lazy that you let somebody just go up there and mistreat you and abuse you over your money and over your rights. Open you Okay? Amen. Now we're here to help you. To save you money. And that's, the main, and that's why we have the green uh, GP, uh, JPC, P, G, J, C, M, green burial. That is for you to have a natural burial. You don't have a need for casting, you don't have a need for embalming, you don't have a need for a vault. 
You can bury the people who for fraud, your loved one who for fraud, and it's only seven hundred and seventy-seven dollars. But the thing is, you need to do it in a certain period of time. And in order to know the time frame, how to get the death certificate that you need to deal with, you know, uh, you need to pre-plan this. Okay, pre-plan it. And that's why we tell you to call us, make an appointment, we'll show you everything, teach you everything, how to clean up your loved one, how to wrap them up in a straw, if you want to use straw, but if you want to get a wooden casket or you know, uh, a casket that's not, you know, cardboard casket is fine, you can do that. And we're talking about saving thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars, okay? And put your loved one away in a decent, memorable, happy way and expensive. But give us a call. Both these businesses are located at 4935 U.S. Highway 84, Frisco City, Alabama, 36445. Phone number is 251-593-8336. So give us a call. We'll be more than happy to help you. Discuss it at least. And you know, you need to shop around before anything happens to your loved one where you won't be shopping in grief. Shop around in advance. pre plan in advance. Do it for yourself. Know what to expect. Don't wait till something happens, then you be allowed to turn on home directions to take advantage of you. <coughs> you allow people to take advantage of you. All around. Okay. Uh, we want to say that we love you. Shalom to you. And we'll see you when we see you. In the name of Yeshua, how I'm going to say it. We love you. In your hand. My little bit. Hallelujah.